it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night Good morning everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day so far It's currently bright and early on a Friday morning um, I've actually had like a really busy productive morning today which makes me happy I am um, very croaky I've been making a lot of phone calls this morning um, Just trying to get everything organized for the end of the month because we actually had a meeting with our solicitors yesterday and everything is going ahead fingers crossed we get our keys on the 25th which then means the week after that um on the 28th i've got the skip being delivered so we'll kind of like have that whilst we're moving so that'll be really good actually um Last time I moved, I had a skip and it just came in so handy um, just for like general rubbish and like broken furniture, bits like that. So we've got that being delivered on the week of the 28th. So that week we are hoping to pack everything um, and move towards the end of that week. So moving vlogs are coming. So I've just been making some phone calls just called McGeorge Skip Company just to make sure they're definitely coming on the 28th. Okay, one moment guys, the bin men are right outside the living room window and he keeps looking in. I, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like sat on the floor right opposite the dining room window. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look down here and pretend I'm busy for a second. Okay, they're going. Also just been on the hunt to find a guy that can basically, this is really hard to explain. Um, last time I was renting and I moved here, the letting agents actually gave me the number, and I can't find it in my phone, for basically someone that comes in after you've pretty much moved out and will do like a super deep clean of your house. They will clean all the carpets, um, any kind of like marks on the wall, like the candle soot, or any just general marks they will paint. Um, they will also like fill in any like screws that you've put in the wall obviously we've got the tv on the wall and stuff like that um and they'll also dismantle any furniture that you actually don't want and you can't do so essentially it's just someone that comes in and kind of like does the finishing touches so your house is in like a really good condition to give back to the landlords um so i need to find someone like that so i've just been having a little look on google i might ring my old letting agent and see if I can have the number again. I feel like that's one less thing I kind of have to think about and worry about. Um, I know that I could come in and clean, but like they do such a brilliant job. A few people come as well and they do all the carpets and all the walls and stuff like that. So definitely wanna find someone like that. So I've got like a moving checklist, um, which I created yesterday because things are getting real. I feel like I've kind of been like living in denial for the past few weeks. Like. I'll just, I'll deal with it when it comes. And now it's here, I'm like, right, I need to get organized. So yeah, that's what I've been up to this morning. Lots of moving prep. Um, but it's Friday morning. It's the rainiest, coziest day. It feels like autumn, um, which is actually crazy. Like the past week, we literally had a heat wave. It was so hot, it was so humid, it was so sticky. And do you know what? It's nice today to actually not be moping around the house sweating. I'm enjoying it. It's rainy, it's gloomy. It's perfect weather if you ask me. So plans for today are, it's actually my nephew's, well it's not his birthday tomorrow, it's his birthday on Monday. But tomorrow uh, my brother's organised like a little, a little family get together. So we, so me, my mum and my sister and my niece and my nephew are popping over to my brother's. Like a little mini party for his third birthday which will be cute. Um, so today I need to pop to B&M um, to get anything, tractor, or dinosaur related because they are his current obsessions and then I'm also going to do a little bit of bacon as well to take with me I want to make some individual banana banana bread so I think I'm going to take those with me tomorrow as well but yeah today it's going to consist of birthday prep coziness I really, really, really want to get round to watching the Lizzie McGuire movie. If you guys saw my stories on Instagram last week, we had like a 90s 
early 2000s throwback. Um, I fully fell down the rabbit hole of just like reliving my favourite childhood songs, my favourite childhood movies, TV programmes, toys, fashion and ever since then I've just been thinking about the Lizzie McGuire movies. Really want to get cosy and watch that. So hopefully that will happen today. If not, I'll do that at some point this weekend. First things first, I need coffee. Um, and then I need to get on with a little bit of computer work. But it's going to be a great day. And as always, I'm super excited to spend the day with you guys. My heart is actually breaking. Teddy has just come and sat on the windowsill, like directly opposite me. And he's currently Mr. Conehead, basically... What happened was the other day I noticed on his chin, it was like really bold, like right underneath his chin because he's got so much fur, it's really hard to see. Um, but I went like this on his chin and it was all bold and then I had a look um, and there was like a little bump there, almost like a little bite. So I thought, right, I'm going to monitor that and like keep looking at it and if it gets any worse, he's going straight to the vet. And then I looked a little bit later in the day and I think he'd obviously been like scratching it because when cats like scratch with their back leg, they go at it like they literally do it so hard. Um, and it was like really, it looked so sore guys. It was like weepy and there was a little bit of blood there and it just, it breaks my heart when anything is wrong with either one of my cats. See, they are like my children. Um, even when Tilly has a hairball sometimes, like I, I feel pain. So, Teddy currently has a cone on his head, um, and it, it's just killing me, it's honestly killing me. He is just very upset with life. Oh, I'm sorry my darling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry my sweetness, oh, he's so sad. I have taken it off a few times, um, purely because I felt so sorry for him but he just scratches it instantly. And that's the one thing that's gonna immediately infect it. Um, so it's really important that he doesn't do that. But I've ordered him an inflatable cone from Amazon, which should be here today. Hopefully it comes soon, which is a lot less invasive because I feel like this cone at the moment, bless him, he, he like can't see. Like when he's walking, he can't walk properly because obviously he can't see the floor and he keeps bumping into things and he can't eat and drink water. Obviously I've been taking it off the day for him to have food and water, but I just feel so sorry for him and I feel like he just, he just can't live like this. It, it's just a lot thinner and it kind of is just like a donut that goes around his neck. So I feel like it'll be a lot more comfortable for him because I just, I can't. excited to show you guys um, which I've been so excited to show you all week and I actually popped one of these on my Instagram story earlier this week and lots of you wanted to know how I actually did it um, it's something that I've been meaning to learn actually for ages but never really just got around to like sitting down and learning how to do it but I have been working with Amazon fashion and they actually wanted me to create like, you know, like a roundup mood board collage kind of thing for a campaign that I'm working with them on. Um, so I kind of like, it's strange because I'd, I'd wanted to learn how to do it for such a long time, but then I kind of had to learn. Um, and honestly, it was the best thing I, I have ever done because this has become my new hobby. Like I enjoy doing this so much. So basically what I've done is I've created an individual mood board for each room of our new house. Um, and I've basically been finding loads of furniture online that I really like and popping it on the mood board. And you know what, just by creating 
a few mood boards I feel so much less overwhelmed um, because in the back of my mind I kind of like had I had an idea what I wanted the house to look like like the sort of like style of each room um, but I just felt like it was such a huge task like finding furniture and I kind of have a, have a bit of a habit of buying furniture and then it doesn't go with each other so I really wanted to show you guys how I've created these because if you are moving house or you're just kind of like playing around with rooms in your house at the moment and you want to change up your decor this will help you so much and it's also really really fun to do you can also do it with like outfit planning um and stuff like that and i'm just i'm really happy that i learned how to do it because i've wanted to do it for the longest time so basically the only app you will need to do it is an app called canva um you can use it on your phone as an app but i think it's so much easier to use on the desktop and i did actually pay for the monthly subscription because one of the tools that you will need is the background remover which is bloody amazing by the way um like any i'll show you it in a moment but it removes the background from any image so it basically like cuts the image out for you essentially um and like you have and you have to have the pro version of canva to use that tool um so i think it's 10 pounds a month which is a little bit pricey but i know that i'm going to use this so much um so let me show you a sneak peek of some of the rooms i'm so happy with it like i feel just so less stressed about moving now because now i know what furniture to actually take and what i want to sell or give away um and i've pretty much like ordered all of this furniture as well which is brilliant because it's on pre-order most of it so it's going to come like middle of july end of july so it's just worked out so perfectly and yeah if you are like me you're a very visual person you feel like you need to see like it instead of trying to imagine it you guys will really really benefit from this so let me turn you around so here's what the mood boards look like um the background is literally just a template that i made um so i literally just picked this background color and then just got an oval shape and did that slightly different color so welcome to my new office guys i've pretty much ordered everything um no i have actually ordered everything on here so this is basically what my new office will look like so far we have the dressing room my office the hallway and the living room the living room is the one room that i'm not really i feel like it doesn't really go so i do need to just play around with everything um but let me show you just how easy it is so let me delete this mirror because i don't think it goes anyway so over this side these are all the images that i've actually downloaded from google so literally all you need to do is go onto google um i just print screened loads of bits that i like like candles that i like like this um and like cushions and sofas and other like furniture i literally just print screened it and then all you need to do is drag it into canva like this and it will appear over here in your uploads and then if you don't have pro you won't have this option so if you do want to like kind of like create mood boards like this i would highly recommend getting pro um you literally click on the image you go to effects and then all you need to do to do is select background remover which is here and then just watch the magic happen guys how amazing and then you literally have just a cut out of your furniture and you can place it wherever you like um, you can move things around also flip them as well um, it's, it's just such a brilliant app and I've spent so many hours on this this week and it just makes me really really happy I was very shocked yesterday actually because Jamie asked me to put together one for his office so I might work on that um, this weekend I need to the rooms I still need to do is the bathroom a little bit of a tricky one because we've got some tiles in our main bathroom which when we first went to see the house i was like no nope, want all white everything but now i actually really really like them they're like a like a white and gray pattern um they're really different and i think they actually add a lot of character to the main bathroom so i'm thinking of keeping those but i don't really know what color goes with that so i'm thinking maybe for the bathroom i just want to keep it like really fresh um so i'm thinking maybe like a wooden bath tray 
and then some nice plants. Um, but speaking of Jamie, Jamie actually isn't here this morning. He is looking at a potential Girl of Muse HQ. I say potential, we're pretty sold on it to be fair. Um, we actually used a fulfillment center this time because it was our first launch we genuinely kind of had no idea how it was going to go um so we used a fulfillment center which basically means you take all the parcels there they pack them all for you they ship them all for you but it's been a lot slower than we would have hoped um a lot of orders have been delayed and it's just completely out of our hands um and me and Jamie both being the control freaks that we are, um, that's just really been stressing us out because we obviously didn't want anyone's orders to be delayed. Like that was kind of like my worst nightmare, especially when it's not because of us. Um, so we've made the decision going forward, we are not gonna use a fulfillment center. We are actually going to get a big space um which is what jamie's going to look at today i think he is going to go for it i said to him basically if if you feel like it's really nice just go for it because we need somewhere anyway and it's literally five minutes from where we live as well so it's really convenient our new house um literally five minutes up the road so super convenient and we're planning on using that for the warehouse um, so we're going to keep all of our Girl of Muse stock there. We're going to get some like nice shelving units and stuff. Um, we're also going to build like a little bit of an, not an office in there, but like a space that we can have like a desk and stuff. Um, and then on our next launch, which is going to be our autumn launch, um, we are going to employ someone um, to run the warehouse for us, which is so exciting. I feel so much like better about that decision um, because then... For example, if any orders were delayed, like they have been this time, we could just pop in and literally pack for an entire night and get it done. Like that's what I would have loved to have done. Obviously it was just out of our hands, but going forward, it will be very different. And I'm excited to, I'm excited for this, this chapter of my life. I'm just so excited for like we've launched our brand. We've got our house coming up. We've got a, a potential HQ. Like it's just, it's craziness. I feel like it's all come at once and it's been super overwhelming at times, but I think sometimes I do just need to take a little bit of a step back and just be like, and like see it for what it is. And it really is just so amazing. And I'm, I'm really just, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, for now, I am gonna finish off one of these designs and I'm also gonna get a little bit of computer work done. finished doing a little bit of healthy food prep I've been trying to do this every few days um, just to keep in the fridge so we can have it with hummus um, and I always feel like when fruit and veg is kind of like cut up and all ready to eat I tend to eat it a lot more I would usually have carrots and some tomatoes and stuff in here as well but we don't actually have any of those so so yeah definitely helps just having something readily prepped in the fridge also just received a box of top-ups from my vitamins and they've also included actually some of their new products which I've been really really excited to try you guys know I work with my vitamins every single month and I love all of their products they have such an amazing selection of products on their website I will leave a direct link down below I also have an incredible discount code which I'll pop on screen um, I always see you guys tagging me in your orders from my vitamins using my discount code which makes me really happy so they actually have a new vitamin drink range which looks incredible I've been so excited to try these so there's actually four different drinks in the range there is focus recharge defense and glow they have actually sold out of the glow so I haven't got this one today but I have just been sipping on the focus one it's tropical flavor zero sugar zero calorie and i'm actually going to start having one of these instead of a coffee so i'm going to trade a coffee for one of these each day just because these are obviously enriched with lots of vitamins and i feel like they are lots better for me than coffee so yeah this one is absolutely delicious 
They all have different flavours as well. So the defence drink is orange and mango. I can't wait to try all of these. And then we also have recharge as well, which is pomegranate and lime flavour. And I just think it's a super easy, great way to get in lots of vitamins. Now, a few of my holy grail products from my vitamins are their gummies they have so many different gummies i pretty much have them all um but i have three absolute favorites so my first one is multivitamin gummies which are upstairs they're strawberry flavor i will link everything down below next we have the apple cider vinegar gummies who remembers the days when i used to shot apple cider vinegar Honestly, torture. These taste like little sweets. They're apple flavored sweets. Need is one gummy a day, and it actually gives you the same benefits as drinking apple cider vinegar, which it has so many health benefits. So they are one of my favorites. And then, as always, the hair, skin, and nail gummies. Oh my goodness. I have been taking these for about a year now. They are blueberry flavor. Again, super yummy. They're just like having little sweets. Like, they're like a little treat every day. Um, but my hair has honestly grown so much since I've been taking these. Like, I actually can't believe I have naturally long hair. And these are great to take with the coconut and collagen tablets, which I've spoken about a few times. Like I said, I will create a little list down below and I'll pop it in the description box because I know it can be quite overwhelming and confusing when there's so much variety, but I'll pop some of my hero products down below. But yeah, very excited to try these other flavors. And this is absolutely delicious. I can't go. Teddy is laid by my feet because the only way he can see around is if I pick him up and he just looks so sad. Come on, my boy. Oh, oh, you want to have a look around? Oh, darling. I might take it off him for a little bit in a minute just so he can have some water. Oh, careful, careful. Good boy, good boy. There. No, don't lick it. Right, you want some food? Wait a minute then. Please don't lick it, my darling. Please don't lick it. Look, you've got food here. Have some food. Okay, guys, the new collar came. <laughs> and he's even more fuming with this one than he was the last one. <gasps> Teddy! <gasps> Unfortunately, the blow-up collar was a huge fail. And little one is back to his original cone. I'm sorry Teddy, I tried. Does this make anyone else ridiculously happy? I love the cleaning aisle in B&M, it's like my favourite. They also have loads of new scents. Look at this one, strawberry and lily. Guys, you know how much I adore the Febreze fabric refresh? Fabuloso do one now in loads of different scents and they've got loads of scents over here. I've pretty much got all of these um, but I think I'm gonna try this tropical one. I know this is really sad but because today feels like a rainy autumn day I really want an autumn scent to put on. I was hoping they'd have mum's bacon because that is the most autumnal scent ever but can't seem to find it believe it or not they're all summer scents but they've been eyeing this one out sparkling peach sunrise i think i'm gonna get some of those because they sound incredible just wanted to show you guys that bnm have got loads of these cooling accessories for pets they've got cooling harnesses these stay cool drinking bowls oh my god look at these cooling vest and also these collars as well just currently reliving my childhood dreams. I'm looking for tractors and dinosaurs. Found this tractor farm truck, which I might get. Oh my God, look at this. Little greenhouse. Oh, paddling pools, I need one of those. When it's like 20 degree heat because I die in the heat. Oh my God, look at these over here. They've got huge paddling pools. Oh my God, that's a huge one. 35 pounds. I've just got home from B&M, excuse my Hagrid wig. Um, it's very, very rainy outside. As you can probably hear, it's absolutely hammering it down and I got pretty drenched. 
um but i am home so for toby's present i decided to go for the dinosaur theme i was either gonna go for tractor or dinosaur theme um and when i was down a certain aisle there wasn't really very many like good kids toys um there was just kind of like toy cars and stuff like that which was a little bit boring um but then i went down the next aisle and oh my goodness this sealed the deal for me um i don't know if this is a practical present but this is very much a um an auntie present do you know what i mean i feel like the auntie present is always a bit of a wild card the one that the parents are a little bit like really um but i just think it's brilliant even the guy at the till when i put it on the till he was like that is brilliant i was like i know so toby's main present is a dress up dinosaur look at this kit look at the pure happiness on his face in his dinosaur costume i just think this is so fun like it's not every day that you get to dress up as a dinosaur i'm so happy with it it was only 12.99 as well which is actually unreal um so i thought that's a little bit of a different present for him a little bit better than like toy cars or something like that um so i got him that which i think i'm gonna i don't really know i think i'm gonna leave that one in my car and then take the little bag of presents in and then like go outside and like hide it somewhere in the house um and then tell him to go in a room this is like my vision tell him to go in a room and then it'll just be there and there and i think that'll be way more exciting than like wrapping it up um and then just a few little presents i got I've got a dinosaur card um bnm had loads of really cute cards so i got a little gift bag i was hoping for a dinosaur gift bag but they didn't have any and then what else did i get oh i got a dragon egg because i thought this was really fun um you add water and watch it grow and yeah i thought that'd be something fun for him to do and then i also got him a dinosaur book um which i thought was really cute it's got this little dinosaur on every page and i know that he loves his book so just got those to pop in the gift bag and i'm really excited i can't wait to give him that dress up dino i can't wait to see like my brother's face as well when i whack that out <laughs> hey guys got you a dress up dino um the only other bits i got from b&m was a load of cleaning products but i know the majority of you guys love cleaning products as much as me they had loads of summery scents you guys know i am a sucker for a new scent and i've also run out of pretty much all my like washing stuff um so i stocked up on that so a few bits that i got was some surf tablets these are watermelon breeze they sound amazing um i feel like buying new washing stuff as well kind of motivates me to do washing i'm hoping anyway because i've got quite a few loads to do again um i also picked up the strawberry and lily i love anything strawberry scented so i'm excited to smell this do you know what that smells like strawberry and lime copper bag and I also picked up as well Sunshine Days. I thought this sounded nice and summery. Oh, that one's lovely. That's really, really like floral and fresh. I also picked up some Unstoppables and some Lenore scent boosters. My washing genuinely isn't the same without these. Um, I find they really do just make anything you wash smell like super perfumed, especially like towels and bedding. Um, so I got dream scent and also lenore had a whole like section on the end of one of the aisles this new ocean breeze scent like they had everything like air fresheners fabric conditioner they had a little bit of everything so i thought i would try these two from the range so i can swap over my little plugins give it a sniff squeeze and sniff oh so fresh so fresh so nice that one's really lovely. Um, what else did I get? I also picked up two new minkies because I ran out of these and nothing beats a minky. Um, I got these heart ones, which I believe are the Valentine's Day um, special ones, but I just think they're really cute. So I got two of those. I also decided to pick up the Airwick Sparkling Peach Sunrise, which I think I might save these for the new house. So when we move in, I can plug these in and it will smell amazing. Then the last two bits I got was, I got two packs of these wipes. I love wipes. Um, I've actually been run out for about a week and they're just brilliant to like 
quickly like wipe down the sides and I picked up the scent Cherry Blossom. And I also picked up as well a Summer Breeze Zoflora and also the Tropical Sparkling Bloom Febreze Fabric Refresher. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up from b and I'm going to pop all of this away, sort Toby's presents out. Um, I also need to make the mini banana loaves and then I've decided, half past two now, so by the time I've kind of like done the banana loaves and tidied up and stuff it's probably going to be about half three i'm then going to get a shower z makeup get all cozy and i'm going to watch lizzie mcguire i'm going to have like a movie afternoon because that's all i've been like fancying all day it's just been the coziest weather ever it literally feels like an afternoon in september and i just need a little movie afternoon in my life Full stop. I believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say Literally for the last 40 minutes I've been thinking about this, what I want to talk about, but now it comes to actually talking about it. I never can. Hello everyone. Sorry, this is this is really I was in really two minds about kind of like talking about this or kind of just going on with I don't even know what I'm saying. Um or kind of just getting on with my day and I really didn't want to put a dampener on this vlog like that's something that I never want to do you guys know I always want to try and uplift you in any way that I can and just create a little bit of an escape um but at the same time I just feel like now I'm in this frame of mind um this is me just being like super raw um right now and you're probably thinking like what's going on um so let me give you a little bit of backstory um last time i saw you guys i was making my banana bread in the kitchen um then then jamie had originally planned this evening to pick up the keys for the warehouse um and i decided to come with him because i wanted to see it and it was super exciting and I feel just so like I feel so weird talking about this like I don't ever really talk about this oh, I actually don't know what I'm saying basically I'm finding it so hard to cope with like everything to do with my dad at the moment um it's really 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 tough and the reason I think that it's so hard at the moment is because so many like good and exciting things are happening in my life and it's so blatantly obvious that dad isn't here like it's just so painful <laughs> like it's it it's so painful I was just trying to explain to Jamie like it's not even sadness it's not even like i feel sad it's so much more than that like it's this pure like pain 
and it's like in the pit of your stomach and it feels like your gut is like sinking and it just hurts so much and as much as I'm like so like happy about everything that's kind of like happening in my life at the moment there's a huge part of me that just feels so sad like I just feel like it's just like oh, I don't know I just really miss him so much I'm just really struggling with it at the moment I always struggle with it don't get me wrong like I have a lot of bad like days or hours or weeks sometimes where I just feel like incredibly sad about it but I think like at the moment it's just so obvious that he's not here which sounds really weird um and I, I try to explain to Jamie like it's so hard to explain it's not that I feel guilt for feeling happy because that's not it at all it's more the fact that when happy things when like good things happen in my life that are like exciting and happy one of the first people that I would tell would be dad and like he would be so happy and I just feel sad that I can't like talk to him about it and like I do this thing as well where <laughs> I imagine what he'd say about things like when we first bought out Girl of Muse like I could genuinely imagine him like down his allotment like wearing everything and he would it just makes me incredibly sad and then like today when we went to the unit I was thinking of things like the whole time that dad would say and that he would love it there um and then on the way back like I really really hold it together and then on the way back I find like I'm really bad in cars like if we've got a slightly long car journey like I'm a mess especially if we've got any kind of like sad music on and I just was thinking and I was like oh and then it just I find with me I'm fine and then I have one thought that kind of like tips me over the edge and then I'm like this and I just felt like I needed to come and chat to you guys about it because I just don't want you guys to think that I'm like happy all the time especially like going through grief grief is such a weird thing like it's such a everyone goes through it so differently and it's such a strange feeling like I said earlier it's not sadness it's it's really not like it's sadness but it's sadness on like a new level that I've never experienced before like I've never lost anyone close to me especially not someone as close as my dad and like I don't talk to anyone about it either, apart from Jamie. He's the only person that I, like, talk to about it. And even then, like, I don't talk about it often at all. I just, I find it really hard to talk about it. Um, but I wanted to talk about it because it's important to me, more than anything, that if any of you are going through like the loss of a parent or the loss of anyone close to you it's so normal to like feel like this um and I think a lot of people as well like you lose someone and people around you kind of forget that it affects you for years and years and years after it happened like you don't get over it in a month you don't get over it in a few weeks you don't get over it ever I don't feel like I feel like it it potentially gets easier maybe I don't know um but it's just really hard it's hard like achieving these milestones like buying our first house and bringing out a brand and getting our warehouse and just not being able to share that with my dad who like I'd be most excited to tell it's just really hard I've got to do the brave bit now and actually like put this clip on my computer and upload it I've done this before where I've kind of like had a really raw chat and then I've, I've gone to edit and just thought no <laughs> um but if you guys are seeing this I've been brave enough to upload this and I hope that it kind of, I hope that it helps 
someone um, because I'm more than happy to show my super vulnerable side if it's going to help someone else and I think it's important as well I think like I am extremely guilty of not talking about how I feel enough because I'm always very scared that it it isn't the kind of this sounds really weird but it's not the last thing I ever want I say this all the time I sound like a broken record the last thing I ever want is for you to come to my channel and feel drained of energy I want you to go away um feeling happy and positive and uplifted and I'm always worried that a conversation as like deep and as raw as this one um maybe like there's there's enough there's enough heaviness in the world right now with emotions and I don't want to add to anyone else's like I don't want to add to that I don't want to make anyone else feel worse than they already do um but yeah I felt like it was important and I think it's always important to bear in mind no matter how happy someone seems and no matter how much good someone's got in their life like everyone everyone has stuff going on behind closed doors um oh god our um we've ordered johnny's kitchen for dinner and he's just pulled up and i really don't want him to see me because i've been crying i'm just gonna like really sit back and hope that he can't see me <laughs> jamie just peeked at me through <laughs> <laughs> Jamie just peeked at me through the window oh god I'm glad he didn't see me that would have been really awkward um if he'd seen me like crying in my car um with a camera on the dash that would have looked really weird wouldn't it oh god I'm glad he didn't see me um, anyway guys I am gonna head indoors because our food has just been delivered um it's actually really late it's like quarter past nine um so we are going to eat our food and then watch a film in bed. I didn't even get a chance to watch um, Lizzie McGuire today. I'm definitely going to do that this weekend. Um, I had quite a lot planned for this evening actually. I was going to cook a really nice dinner with you guys, um, watch Lizzie McGuire and just have like a cute evening. But instead of pretending that everything is normal and... I feel okay I'd much prefer to come on and talk to you about how I actually feel um so yeah thank you for listening just I want you to know that if any of you are going through grief please don't feel like you have to fit like there's no right way to deal with it and I think that's one of the hardest things like there there really isn't anything that you can do that makes it easier it's just one of those things that I feel like you need to figure out for yourself um and I think in every single situation in life time is a big healer and I'm hoping that over time these really really like sad spells will hopefully get less and less um but I think there'll always be like a massive there'll always be a massive like hole in my life that's how I feel like I feel like nothing is the same now like no occasion is the same like nothing is the same I feel like me as a person as well I feel like part of me is gone now that sounds really sad doesn't it I'm just being honest with how I feel and this is kind of like what goes on in my head a lot and it's actually quite nice to talk about it but I feel like sometimes I feel like a bit of a shell of a person because like he was such a like he is such a huge part of my life and it just it's it's really hard about him sometimes anyway I'm gonna stop crying in the car now thank you guys for listening um i don't really know how to end this now um 
I really hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, it's been a little bit shorter than normal, and sorry to end it on such a on such a sad note as well. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed it. I really do appreciate you all so much. I'm really lucky to just have so many amazing people that I can actually talk to about this. Um, and I hope this little conversation helped someone. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hi guys, this is the pure reality of what I actually look like when I'm editing. I I can't even hear myself speak because these headphones are like blocking out any noise, um, which are fabulous by the way. If I look slightly strange, I have, ow, just fake tanned. Um, I, it's currently Wednesday morning, you guys will be seeing this vlog tonight, and I just wanted to jump on because I've just finished editing the last part of the vlog that you've seen, and it just felt really wrong to like end this vlog on such a sad note, and I also just wanted to say, I am fine like 80% of the time, but there are moments where I do just feel like I said in those clips, and I just didn't want to end the vlog on a really sad note and I didn't want you guys to worry about me either um so I just felt like it was really important to kind of like come on and let you guys know that I am fine I just have days like everyone does where I do feel incredibly sad and I felt like it was I was brave enough to keep the clips in I've actually been dreading like watching it's really weird to watch yourself cry if that makes sense um and it's really weird as well to to kind of when you're not in that kind of like sad mindset to kind of watch that back it's a really a really strange feeling actually and yeah I just felt like I needed to pop on and say hello even though I am sat here in my dressing gown and freshly fake tanned um but this is the reality of me right now but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog um I actually filmed a you'll be proud of me a full house in depth old school clean with me on monday which i have got to edit today that'll be going live on sunday which i'm really looking forward to you guys seeing because i know that's one of your favorite videos ever and i don't do enough of them and i promise when we move into the new house i will do more i also just wanted to let you guys know as well on wednesday the moving vlogs begin um we've had a not so promising phone call this morning about things being slightly delayed but I'm just gonna start the vlog tomorrow and we'll go with it. If things get delayed, um, the moving vlogs might just be a little bit longer. We might be packing for weeks, <laughs> um, but, I'll keep, but I'll keep you updated and I'm really excited to start the moving vlogs. Like I've been itching to start this kind of like process. So that'll be coming on Wednesday. So that's really, really exciting. But let me, let me just stand you. Oh, I am naked under this dressing gown. So I just need to like make sure that you can't see any nipples. Okay guys, you're balancing on um, an aircon unit that Jamie bought from Amazon and it's so bad. Let me show you it. Um, it's meant to be like great and it's just awful. Like literally, you have to sit about here to feel anything. <laughs> um so yeah that was a, a failed amazon purchase okay today's quote let me take my headphones off because i feel stupid reading like a deep quote with headphones on. <laughs> also guys oh my god i literally am in like my this is my natural form right now um if you have a fringe like me and basically you look like this majority of the time get some of these from Primark. They are honestly a lifesaver. I mean, they're not the most fashionable and wouldn't really be going on camera like this, but it's fine. Um, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to ignore my appearance right now. But, so today's quote is, let me just <clears throat> clear my throat. Okay, quote of the day is, grief is like the ocean. It comes in waves. Sometimes the water is calm and sometimes it is overwhelming. All we can do is learn to swim. I really love that quote. I feel like it's just very, it kind of sums up how I've been feeling. Anyway, my loves, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening to me as always. Um, and I shall see you guys on Sunday for a full house clean with me, even though this room looks like an actual bombs hit it. This is just my life now. Um, but yeah, really excited for moving vlogs. And yeah, love you guys so much. Bye-bye again. <laughs>